Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, this video is about um, how to customize EFK deployment. So, um, excuse me. So I haven't planned for this video, but this one um, is for a user who watched one of my videos um, and asked a question. Um, so um, let me show that video. So go to youtube.com and if I search for cube 34 so that's the video monitoring Kubernetes logs using EFK stack um, Elasticsearch, Fluentbit and Kibana um, so in this video I've uh, demonstrated how you can deploy EFK stack on your Kubernetes cluster um, using Rancher um, so let me show you the comment okay go away add Okay, skip ad. Let me pause the video. Okay, so um, the user who um, requested was this guy here, Money Gunton. Um, okay, so basically um, he was asking me whether he could change the number of replica sets. I mean the number of stateful sets um, in this deployment. So what I've done in this video is um, so my setup is still going to be the same for this video. So the original video, Cube34, I recorded using the same laptop with the same uh, environment. Uh, host is 4 CPU with 8 gig RAM Manjaro Linux and I'm running Rancher uh, using Docker container and my Kubernetes cluster um, is set up using LXC containers and all of these are CentOS 7 containers with 2 CPU and 2 gig of RAM one master node and two worker nodes so the setup is exactly the same um, as I did on this original video and the question he asked me is let me show you the um, yep yeah, here it is go away add okay so um, when I demonstrated this video, um, I deployed it from the catalog app and the stateful set uh, Elasticsearch will be deployed as a cluster with three replicas um, EFK Elasticsearch 0 through to 2 and Kibana will be deployed as a deployment with one replica and daemon set and fluent bit as a daemon set since we had two worker nodes K worker 1 and K worker 2 uh, we need to have fluent bit running on all the worker nodes so it was deployed as a daemon set okay so um, the Elasticsearch cluster it was deployed as a cluster and each of these parts require um, 512 meg half a gig of RAM um, to function properly Elasticsearch is a, is a Java process Java application so it requires more memory and the uh, the user here um, had some problems deploying this setup um, following this video so basically his Kubernetes cluster was one master node and one worker node and I deployed this on two worker nodes so I didn't have any problem so when you deploy this on a, a cluster with one master node and one worker node you would have some problems so now this video is all about how to customize this app uh, this deployment uh, so that we can reduce the number of uh, replicas to one right okay so I've got my rancher um, set up so that's my uh, cluster I've imported the cluster into uh, rancher and um, kubectl get nodes I've got one master node and two worker nodes so just to um, have the same setup as that of that user I'm going to disable uh, one of the worker node K worker 2 so I can cordon uh, the uh, worker node so that no pods will get sh uh, scheduled on that node I can do that from uh, the rancher UI so I'm gonna disable K worker 2 cordon and it's cordoned if I go back here and do kubectl get nodes you will see K worker is ready K worker 2 is ready but scheduling is disabled so basically I've got the same setup as that of the uh, the user one master node and one worker node and you won't be able to deploy anything on the uh, the master node because it has got a taint uh, associated with it no schedule taint so basically apart from the system uh, resources uh, 
API Server Controller Manager scheduler, you won't be able to deploy any of your normal resources onto the uh, KMaster. So all we are left with uh, is just one worker node, KWorker1. Okay, so as I did in my previous video, sorry, in this video, I'm going to follow the same step, but I'm going to show you how you can customize so that you can run one uh, replica instead of three replicas uh, for Elasticsearch cluster. Uh, but uh, bear in mind, it's always uh, useful to run Elasticsearch in a cluster mode. Uh, never ever run it uh, in a single replica mode, right? Uh, because Elasticsearch is the uh, storage engine where you store all your logs and everything, uh, logs, metrics, and everything. So if the uh, node goes down, uh, it takes away the associated volumes with it. So it's always a good practice to um, deploy Elasticsearch in a cluster. And also bear in mind when you're deploying a cluster, make sure you have a cluster of uh, at least three nodes um, like in this case, right? Uh, but as that user is um, having that cluster for just learning purpose, he uh, has one master node and one worker node and he wants to try this video. Okay, so let's try and do that. Um, if I go to uh, select any namespace, go to catalog apps, launch, and uh, EFK is here. I'm, I'm going to follow the same set of steps that I followed in the original video. Uh, view details. And then what we did in the previous video was um, it gets deployed in its own namespace, EFK. Um, use the default image, that's all okay. So as I said, it requires half a gig of RAM to run uh, the Elasticsearch container. Um, it's exposed as a node port service. Persistent volume, I'm not bothered about persistent volume, but if you are using it in a production environment, make sure you have set up the uh, persistent volumes. Uh, Kibana, I don't want to expose it. Let's change that to false. Um, fluent bit is enabled. And if I scroll further, you can see the YAML file that will get deployed as part of this um, app deployment. Um, so that's the Elasticsearch image master replicas so here's the three replicas right so how we can edit this uh, replica so this is just a preview you won't be you won't be able to edit this uh, yaml file it's just showing you um, what will be deployed persistent and all those things okay so let's go ahead and try and edit this file and if i expand the detailed descriptions it will show you the list of options that you can customize um, it will be here. So for Elasticsearch, the configuration. So these are the configurations that you can use in the uh, deployment. And these are for Kibana. And these are for Fluentbit. So if I go back to the Elasticsearch, you can see here master.replicas. The number of master nodes to um, deploy as a stateful set. The default value is 3. We're going to change that to 1 master dot replicas um, note that uh, note the option parameter it's master dot replicas okay so let's close that that's all we need um, if I edit as YAML click this button edit as YAML file and here under elastic search elastic search dot master dot replicas colon one okay so that's all needed now we can go ahead and launch uh, this app okay I'm launching if I go to workloads um, you can see all of them are getting deployed so um, Elasticsearch is a stateful set and you can see it's just uh, trying to create one replica and you can see here it's one replica and Fluentbit is a daemon set and Kibana is a deployment with one replica. So one replica, one per node, and it's one. So I'm going to wait for the deployment uh, to complete. So it's uh, pulling the container images for Elasticsearch, Fluentbit, and Kibana. Um, so um, I'll wait for this to um, come back. I'll pause the video and I'll come back when these are all ready. 
Okay, um, all of them have been uh, deployed. Um, as you can see, Elasticsearch with one replica, Fluentbit with two daemon sets, and Kibana with uh, one deployment. So if I go back to the terminal, um, kubectl get namespace, um, that is this EFK namespace that got created automatically. Uh, kubectl minus n EFK get all. And you can see uh, the daemon set uh, for Fluentbit and the deployment for Kibana and the stateful set for Elasticsearch and you can see uh, it's the number of replica is one so that's the change we made so this is how you deploy um, you customize the app that you want to install from Rancher so you go ahead and uh, look at the detailed description of the app that you're about to launch and see the customization options um, on the UI you won't be able to uh, tweak many options uh, but if you edit the file, edit the app as a YAML file, you'll be able to um, add or delete, update those uh, configuration options. So we've configured, uh, we've changed the configuration to deploy one instead of three um, replicas for Elasticsearch. That's how uh, we do it. And now let's check if it's all looking good. Okay. So, EFK Kibana, and if I click this Noteboard link here, it will take me directly to the Kibana dashboard. And you can see there's an, there's an error with the Elasticsearch. The Elasticsearch service is unavailable. So let's go ahead and dig what's happening. So if I go to the Elasticsearch um, stateful set, and there is this one replica, one part running, and let's look at the, um, the logs, why it's failing. Okay, that it is. It's saying not enough master nodes. Okay, I think it's uh, spitting up lots and lots of log files. If I go here, um, it says not enough master discovered, uh, but needed is two. So it's expecting at least two master nodes and it's not finding the second. Uh, Elasticsearch master node in the cluster. So how would we resolve this issue? Okay, so go back to workloads and edit the uh, stateful set. Edit. And don't worry about this uh, thing. It says it's upgrade, but we are not actually upgrading it. We are editing the existing configuration. And go down to the environment variable and there you will see discovery.zen.minimum master nodes. So the app has uh, specified that the minimum number of Elasticsearch uh, nodes in the cluster should be at least two. So since we haven't got two cluster nodes, that's why it's, uh, the service is unavailable. So change that to one. So we are happy with just one master node, one node in the cluster, Elasticsearch cluster. So that's done and click upgrade. Um, and uh, go back to the Kibana dashboard and still you see service unavailable that's because if you go into the workload and select this one or environment variable um, then minimum master node is one so the deployment has been updated to one master node but if you look at the uh, container itself and look at the environment variable inside the container it still says the minimum master node is 2 so that's the reason so in this case what we got to do is we have to delete this uh, container okay let's go ahead and delete this container delete delete and go back to workloads and now you will see the container is deleted and it is creating a new one initializing so we have deleted the existing um, Elasticsearch container and we've asked the uh, stateful set to deploy a new container okay so let's wait for the new container to start and then we can verify if the logs are looking good and we can um, access the Kibana dashboard okay it's ready now and if I go into the uh, stateful set and inside the pod if I look at the environment variable minimum master node is one that's looking good and if I look at the logs 
you shouldn't be seeing any um, errors in the log okay go back to workloads and look at the Kibana dashboard loading Kibana and there you go you don't see any error so now let's set up the index pattern and it has uh, discovered the Kubernetes cluster index gonna put an asterisk click next okay uh, now we got to select the time filter select timestamp create index pattern okay so we are good now and go to discover page and in a moment you should see all the logs yep there we go so we've got all the logs from all our nodes in the cluster and if you want you can add a filter let's say uh, namespace Na kubernetes dot namespace is efk click save cool so those are the logs from the uh, efk namespace you can see here the efk is highlighted and if you want to search for any particular pod um, let's add a new filter um, kubernetes dot pod name is EFK Elastic Search Save and you've got that as well. So Kubernetes pod name. So these are the uh, logs from all the pods that has EFK Elastic Search in its name. Okay, so that's uh, what I wanted to show in this show you in this video. Um, it doesn't matter how many uh, nodes you have got in your Elasticsearch cluster, your cluster will still be functional, but it's, it is not a highly available cluster. So this is just for a demonstration purpose. Um, since the user asked me how to um, deploy the EFK cluster uh, using just one replica instead of three replicas because he hasn't got enough number of worker nodes, each worker node needs to have at least half a gig of RAM um, for these Elasticsearch um, node container to be running. Okay, cool. Um, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, hope it helped uh, this user uh, money here. Hi, money. I hope this one was useful. If not, uh, or if you're looking for something else, please let me know and I'll be able to help you. Okay, thank you all. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye.